Hi everybody, welcome to The Garage at Cat's Tiny Kitchen. I decided this year I was going to plant some seeds and um, I do have a greenhouse. I did it a couple of years ago. I wasn't too successful. I did get some stuff. So I'm going to be brave and try it again today. So I've already got my soil in my seed cells. And what I'm going to do right now is grab some water and I'm going to water this in. It's very, very dry. So, yeah, I'm going to make a little bit of a mess. So I want to get this wet. I want to get the soil wet before I put the seeds in. And then when I'm done, this and the seed, the soil is wet, then we'll go ahead and um, plant the seeds and then I'll throw some fertilizer on this. Um, so we'll be back in a minute after I get all this soil wet. So I'm done playing in the dirt. And now I'm going to try and plant my seeds. Now this soil isn't wet wet, but where I'm going to set it, I'm going to take it in one of the back bedrooms that's a south facing window so that it, they'll get plenty of sunlight and it, it's a warm area so they won't, there's no risk of getting cold. And um, I'll just keep checking on them. So the first thing I'm going to start is I've got these Haussinator tomatoes and they're supposed to germinate in 68 to 73 days. And um, they have a 96% rate of um, germination. So we're going to start with those. We're not going to do a whole lot. Even though I've got this thing full, we don't have a whole lot of space. We have raised beds that these are going to go in. We have two raised beds that we do vegetables and tomatoes. So we won't have a whole lot of room so I will probably be giving some of these away and these are the nice seeds these are actually coated so that they're easy to plant and I'm just gonna push these in the soil push them down in a little bit cover them up and just keep doing that now um, these are supposed to be a good, pretty good variety of seed too, or a tomato too. Um, I watch a lot of channels in the south, and they're of course already starting to plant and get crops. Unfortunately, us here in Ohio, I can get my seeds started, but I can't plant them yet, so which is a bummer. But we'll get there. These will go in the ground probably around Mother's Day if everybody everything works out okay. So I it's going to be interesting. I've never grown okra and this is supposed to be really good in zone 6. So we shall see. Oop, one seed short. Get out of my fingernail. So, so bury those bad boys, and that's it for that. So we're good, and they gave you this really handy, handy dandy. I I can't get too close because it won't focus for you, but they gave me um, sticks to put in, so I know exactly what I've got here. Put it in this one; it's empty. And then the next one is called a Shelby tomato. And there's only 10 seeds here. I don't think I have a stick in this one. Nope. But these are the, the nice coated seeds too. And um, get out of there. So we're going to do these. These are, um, these have a 94% germination rate and um, they produce a pretty good sized fruit. They uh, don't mature until 75 days. So these are going to be later tomatoes for us. Get that in there. And what a lot of people don't know for me, this is therapy. Total therapy. Playing in the dirt, pulling weeds, growing things in the garden. Just is so so relaxing for me. I've been chomping at the bit with um, getting this stuff started. I, I could have done this months ago, but 
I got too um, anxious and I had to talk myself down because you don't want your plants ready to go too soon because then they'll start they might start getting um, diseases and um, dying on you and that was I think that's a seed so we're gonna plant that in there so we got those this one didn't have sticks in it so I'm gonna have to put this here so when I get ready to make my sticks I got I got um, my planter ready so then the next tomatoes that I'm gonna plant these are called purple Cherokee and they have an 85 percent germination rate they're not treated so I'm gonna be playing with some little itty bitty teeny seeds um, mature, they mature in 70 days and I, I really probably could have staggered these but I'm too anxious and too excited I want to get it going this pack has 50 seeds in it I'm not going to use all 50 seeds I can guarantee you that I'll use enough to fill these two cell or these two um, pack cells and be done with it normally you should pack plant like one or two seeds in and I just don't do that here I'm gonna poke some holes in here make it a little easier for me gotta get it in there all right These are tiny. Tiny, tiny. I like the coated ones. Two went in there, but that's okay. I'll put two in there. Might as well. I'm going to put two seeds in each cell so that if at least maybe one will germinate for me. There we go. A few more. I've never grown these either. These look like a really neat variety of tomato that grows well in our zone. There's one. Okay. So there's that one. Now we got to get these in here. In the water. Hope they don't germinate on me in there. I'll just pull them out and put them in a plastic bag. They'll be fine. So there you go. That's the next variety. Put some soil on you. Now, if I did this right, everything will be great. So the next two are the fun ones. Um, I got some Clemson Spineless Okra. It is supposed to do really good in Zone 6. The germination rate on this is only 76%, so I don't know how well these are going to do here. Um, but they mature in 60 days, so we'll be able to get some okra, and I'm going to can some okra and pickle it and do all kinds of stuff with it. Um, the other one I'm going to plant is zucchini. It's a Golden Delight zucchini. Never seen yellow zucchini before. Always the green stuff. So I figured I'd give this a shot this year and see what it does. I'm hoping it'll turn out really good. So here we go. And I got to stick with these, so that was really cool. I'm just going to push these down in and cover them up. I'm learning all 
all kinds of stuff with zucchini too that you can do with like breads and I actually make a fake apple pie every year during the holidays mostly during the summer when the zucchinis in season um, it, it looks like a apple crisp it really doesn't look like a pie but it, it tastes so good you would never know that it wasn't apples just the way you know science cooking works that's pretty cool and this actually is something that you can do with the kiddos you get those little grandbabies that are excited to see soil and play in the dirt and you can have them help you do this. I actually had my grandson help me one year with my raised beds. He came over during Father's Day and I was doing some planting of some radishes and some other stuff and had him help me and we had a blast. He and I had such a good time. He's a big kid now. He doesn't really want to hang out with the grandparents. So we'll put our stick in there. And for the final, we're going to do our hossinators, or our spineless clumps in okra. And this is going to go on the end of the house. I haven't done anything at the end of my southern end of my house for a long time. And this year we're going to clean it out and put these in. They should do really well there. And um, we'll see. And it'll actually clean up the end of the house and make it look good. So I am going to fill up all of these and this will be a vacant one we'll figure out something else to put in there we'll pop them in these are a nice seed too I don't know if these are coated or not I have no idea never grown them before and then once these get to a good um, size plant then I will go ahead and, and um, bring them out and put them in the greenhouse and have them outside during the day so they get that good sunshine and heat during the day and then I'll bring them in to the garage at night so they if during these cold nights I don't want them to um, get too cold and die off but I wanted before I got stuff going I wanted to go ahead and um, get these seeds started for planting before I started any get get got the greenhouse out and started cleaning the beds and here in a little bit we'll go out in the yard and walk around and you can see we've got a lot of work to do whole lot of work to do so there's that there's the spineless okra and that's all the seeds we're gonna plant for now if everything works out right I hope we'll have you back for a video. I don't know if I'll have to upplant them or not. And what upplanting is, is you t once they germinate in here, you actually take them out of these cells and put them in bigger pots to um, give the root systems a chance to grow. And um, Mike's probably going to kill me with that one. But anyway, that's it for the seed planting, and I'm so glad you came along. Hope this was um, informational for you and we're on a journey together. So please do come back and check it out later. So as you can see, we have a whole lot of work to do. I've got that raised bed out there that we gotta clean out and put more soil in. And then over here, we have another bed. This is gonna have peppers in it this year. We'll buy those, we won't do anything with those. And then over here is my herb garden. And you can see I have some chives coming up. My time's doing pretty good. I have some time over here too. Um, it didn't do as good. And in that pot there, we usually try to do like cucumbers or something, but it doesn't, it gets too hot back there. So I don't think we're gonna do that. And we gotta go through and weed all of the sides and this has all got to be cleaned off because it's a mess and then over here in this area we are going to till this up and plant hostas in here because this area here doesn't get much sunlight at all so 
So as we walk around and see all the stuff falling apart, we got some tulips coming up over here. And, and this is the south end of the house where I'm going to go ahead and plant some okra. We have iris coming up and a lone daffodil. And this will all be cleaned out and the okra is going to go in here. And then around to the front needs even more work. We are going to have, I don't know yet, these are mums. I don't even know if they're going to come back on me. And then we got some pots up there. But in the bare spots here, as you can see, there's some remnants of canna lilies. I'm going to put canna lilies and some other different flower bulbs out here for the summer. And canna lilies, you can dig them up and use the rhizomes again the next year. I did try some from seed this year but I don't know how well that's going to work out. So, we got three areas up here that need some work. These I didn't even dig out. I had so many canna lilies that I didn't even need to dig them out. And, um, and over here, I got to do some weeding. This is a project I did last year. I did a little bit of a walkway. And then up on either side of the breezeway door, I put pavers in. There was soil there, and it really got weedy, and it is weedy now. So I put the pavers in. We'll blow all the leaves out of here, we'll clean the pavers off, and I'll get the roundup out and kill all the weeds. And that's what I plan on doing on the, the south side of the house, is later on today I'm going to take some round up out there and I'm going to round everything up and by the time it's time to plant everything will be cleaned up. So there you have it folks. Now we have some pots out here that um, we had tomatoes and flowers in last year. We might do that again this year. I don't know. The canna lily sort of grew up and um, overtook everything so those pots didn't do that well and Michael ordered two, ordered two raised beds and I ordered two raised beds, but we think we may have gotten scammed on that. It was too good of a deal, and like they say, if the deal's too good to be true, then it isn't true. So, there you go. That's just a little tour of the yard and what we've got going for us in the next few weeks. So thank you all for coming along. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you on the next one.